A beautiful morning to you is yet another time to know what is going on in our world of politics. This is One World TV and I am your presenter Ogochin Yere and here are the headlines in brief. On economic stability, CSO urges Tinubu to be intentional in appointing cabinet members. Mao reports that 5,147 drug offenders, 35 barons convicted in past two years. Gunmen kidnap Oba wife in Kogi. Federal government implements 7.5% VAT on diesel. Nigerians kick. And now here are the headlines in view. On economic stability, CSO urges Tinubu to be intentional in appointing cabinet members. It says a CSO, God Speed Leadership and Mentorship Development Initiative, GLEMDI, has called on President Bola Tinubu to be intentional in appointing his cabinet members. Mr. Habila Kait, Executive Director, GLEMDI, made the call on Tuesday, 20th of June, in an interview with the News Agency of Nigeria in Abuja. Kayit said that the call was imperative because the 2023 general election came with countless lessons on Nigerians' diversity owing to the activities of some selfish politicians. He said that there was the need for the president to deliberately foster unity in the nation through the appointment of his cabinet members. He said, the task ahead for the president and members of the National Assembly is huge and requires urgent attention. The citizens have lost trust in the system because some public offenders always get away with their offenses. The new administration will have to focus on building national unity and public trust. Uh, the headline, Mawa reports that 5,147 drug offenders, 35 barons, we are convicted in past two years says 852.142 hectares of cannabis farm were destroyed. It says Chairman National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA Buba Mawa, has said that 5,147 drug offenders, including 35 drug barons, have been successfully prosecuted and convicted in the past two and a half years. This was even as he disclosed that within the period 31,675 were also arrested for drug-related offenses. Mawa, represented by the agency's secretary, Shedrak Haruna, made the disclosure at a briefing to announce the flag off of activities to mark the 2023 United Nations UN Day Against Drug Abuse and Trafficking of Illicit Drugs on Tuesday, being the 20th of June. He said in the past two and a half years, we have strengthened our law enforcement efforts to cut down on the supply of drugs in society. In 29 months, we have arrested 31,675 drug offenders, including 35 barons, successfully prosecuted and got convicted 5,147 of them and over 11,000 other cases still pending in court. Why 23,725 drug users had been cancelled and rehabilitated majority of them through brief interventions. At least 6.3 million kilograms of various illicit substances have been recovered in response to our efforts to sweep up drugs and shut down the distribution channels. We have destroyed 852.142 hectares of cannabis farms and dismantled three clandestine methamphetamine laboratories. I can assure you that even as we speak, NDLEA agents are busy with interdiction activities somewhere else. On his path, the country representative of the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, UNODC, Oliver Stope tasked President Bola Ahmed Tinubu on policies to effectively advance the fight against illicit drug consumption. I must commend the NDLA for what they have been doing so far to curb down the use of illicit drugs that have been a menace in the society. Another headline, gunmen kidnap Oba wife in Kogi. Gunmen on Monday 19th of June kidnapped the Oba of Idofin and his wife in Yaba East local government area of Kogi 
The news agency of Nigeria NAN gathered that the traditional rulers Shedrak Durojaye, Obibeni, and wife were said to be kidnapped along Makutu Idofin Road at about 5 p.m. Mr. Abdul Rasak Asiru, Yaba East Local Government Council Chairman, who confirmed the incident to NAN, described it as a very shocking and sad one. The Asiru said that he was still in shock over the incident which had not happened in the area for almost two years this incident was well planned by the kidnappers because from what i learned the oba and his wife only moved out to see something and in less than 10 minutes that incident happened we smell a rat over this sad incident and we are not resting until we get to the criminal elements who did this dastardly act and rescue our traditional ruler and his wife he said the council boss said that Already, alerts and messages have been sent to the traditional rulers and community leaders in Okun land to be vigilant and conduct thorough search for the rescue of the couple. It's quite unfortunate that the Oba and his wife was kidnapped. I believe that the vigilantes and the police should be able to handle this and we'll be expecting good news very soon. Another headline, federal government implements 7.5% VATs on diesel Nigerian kick. The federal government on Monday confirmed that it had commenced the implementation of the payment of 7.5% value-added tax on automotive, gas, oil, popularly called diesel officials or the Nigeria Customs Service and the Federal Inland Revenue Service, confirmed this in Abuja, stressing that AGO was not exempted from the payment of VAT based on the VAT modification order 2021. The development was, however, condemned by Nigerians who pointed out that citizens we are still trying to adjust to the hike in the pump price of premium motor spirit, PMS, popularly called petrol, not knowing that plans had been perfected to further raise payments for diesel. When asked if the NCS was now collecting 7.5% VAT on the imports of AGO, the spokesperson for the service, Abdullahi Maiwada, replied yes. Okay, that's all the news we have for you today. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bells to get notified when we have new news for you. This is Still One World TV and I still remain your presenter, Ogachinere. Have a blessed day.